Hello listeners, this video is on The Grapes of Wrath, written by John Steinbeck. John Ernest Steinbeck was born in the year 1902 and died in the year 1968. He was an American writer and he received Nobel Prize in Literature in the year 1962. He received Nobel Prize in Literature for his realistic and imaginative writings that combines sympathetic humor and keen social perception. He has been called as a giant of American letters. He has totally authored 33 books that includes 16 novels, 6 non-fiction books and 2 collections of short stories. His popular works include his comic novels Tortilla Flat in the year 1935 Canary Row 1945 and the multi-generation epic East of Eden 1952 and his novels are The Red Pony 1933 and Of Mice and Men 1937. He has received Pulitzer Prize for his novel The Grapes of Wrath in the year 1939. The novel The Grapes of Wrath is considered his masterpiece and it is in the part of the American literary canon. In the first 75 years of this novel's publication, it sold around 14 million copies. The settings of John Steinbeck's novels are in Central California, particularly in the Salinas Valley and the California Coast Ranges region. In his works, he explores the themes of fate and injustice. He used the characteristics of every man, which is a stock character of fiction, which is represented as an ordinary and humble character. The character every man is generally a protagonist whom the readers or the audience whose life can be related with the character, that is the protagonist. Let us see an outline of this novel, The Graves of Wrath, which is a realist novel which was published in the year 1939. The novel won the National Book Award and Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. This novel was set during the Great Depression. The novel is frequently read in American high school and college literature classes because of its historical context and enduring legacy. The novel also has adaptation of film version, which was released in the year 1940. Let us see the characters of this novel. Tom Joad, he is the protagonist of the novel. In the beginning of the novel, Tom Joad has been paroled after serving a four-year prison sentence for killing a man in self-defense. His character is portrayed as a strong and a principled man. Ma Jod. Ma Jod is a dedicated matron of Jod family. Throughout the novel, Ma Jod sacrifices for the good of her family. She is remarkably committed to keep the family moving forward. Jimmy Cassie. Jimmy Cassie is an ex-preacher who knew the Jods when Tom was at his childhood. Pa Jod. Pa Jod is an easy-going head of the Jod family. He is responsible for taking care of the entire family. Rose of Sharon. Rose of Sharon is also referred to as Rojaram, who is the sister of Tom. She is married to Connie River. Uncle John is Pa Jod's brother. John lives with guilt for his long past death of his young wife. Muley Graves is a neighbor of the Jodes in Oklahoma. Graves refuses to leave his land despite having been convicted. He hides on his former land. He hunts his own food and sleeps there. There are other minor characters. All that we can see when we deal the summary of the novel. The novel has 30 chapters altogether. This video lecture will have the entire summary of the novel. The novel is set in Oklahoma. It was during the Great Depression. Altogether, drought and dust storms, the dust bowl, have ruined the farmer's crops and it has destroyed the livelihoods of the farmers. 
and the droughts have also damaged the economy of the farmers. Tom Jaw is a young man from a farming family who has just been paroled from prison after serving four years on a homicide charge. Homicide meaning the illegal killing of one person by another. When Tom returns home, he meets Jimmy Cassie. Jimmy Cassie is an ex-preacher whom Tom knew as a child. At this point, when Tom meets Jimmy Cassie, Cassie was no longer preaching of virtue and sin. He instead holds the unity and equality of human spirit as his highest idol. Both Tom and Cassie together they travel back to Jode's home. When they return, they discover that their home, that is Jode's home, has been abandoned. Molly Graves, a neighbor who has stayed behind, explains the two men that the farming families have been evicted by the landlords and the banks. Both landowners and the banks, they repossessed their land and now they use the tractors to cultivate it. Molly Graves tells the men that they can find Tom's family at the home of Uncle John, who is the brother of Tom's father. He is called as Pa God. When Tom and Cassie, they arrive at Uncle John's house, they find Tom's family loading up a car in preparation to leave for California. Pa John reveals to Tom that the family had just seen an advertisement of fruit picking jobs on handbills and so that the family are heading west to take advantage of these opportunities available. On their way on a road, the Jodes, that is the family of Tom, they befriend a migrant couple named Ivy and Sadie Wilson. During their travel, shortly, Grandpa John, who is the grandfather of Tom, he is a depraved old man. He dies of stroke. Both Ivy and Sadie Wilson, they travel with Jode's family until the California border where Sadie becomes too ill to continue. Noah, who is the older brother of Tom, he abandons the family at this border that is around California. He chooses to subsist on his way. The meaning of subsist is a person who manages to live with very little food or money. On their way to California, the Jodes, they receive disheartening reports about a lack of jobs and hostility around Okies in California. When the family arrived in the state, these rumors proved to be true and their hardships continue even there. Grandma Jo also dies during the family's passage through the Mojave Desert. There, the family is forced to inhabit a Hoover Willie. It is a squalid tent city, which is named after President Herbert Hoover. Here is where the migrants live. The migrants stay there to fulfill their illegal businesses and their stay will be in contract. During the stay in this camp, Connie Rivers, who is the husband of Tom's pregnant sister, Rosie of Sharon, he abandons Tom's sister. When Tom, along with a friend from the Hoover Willie, he tried to negotiate for better wages from a contractor, they end up in fight. Tom, in fear, he flees and Casey, he willingly takes the blame for the fight. Now the preacher Casey, he is arrested and taken into custody. Now the Jodes family, they leave the Hoover will and they find refuge at a more comfortable government-run camp. Instead of guarding the camp with police protection, the camp is governed by a committee elected by the migrants themselves. At this camp, the Jode family find some comfort and friendship. But only Tom could find work there. One day, Tom discovers that the Greedy Farmers Association who is working there are corrupted and they are planned to start a riot 
he understood that the riot may pretends to destroy the camp which will weaken the laborers bargaining power however tom with the help of other men tried to save the camp at this point the family of jod are unable to survive on the income that they receive at the camp now they leave to find work elsewhere as they move forward to find a new work they come across a peach picking compound where they are brought into work while other migrants are on strike outside the gates now tom discovers that casey is the one responsible for organizing the strike just after tom reunites with casey the policemen find them and one of the officers there they kill casey with a pick axe in front of tom in response tom kills the officer and he hides himself the jode family they leave to pick cotton and started to live out of a box car box car is an enclosed railway freight wagon which is typically with sliding doors on the sides meanwhile tom hides in the wilderness nearby now the family has enough money to eat fairly well and tom's younger brother al jord gets engaged to agnes wainwright at this point when tom's sister rose of sharon was about to give birth to baby the family was opposed to go to a hospital or to find a midwife simultaneously there was a flood the family leaves as sharon was about to give birth to baby the theme of this novel includes humanity inhumanity family friendship and community in this novel steinbeck he demonstrates the ties and the relationship that are developed through kinship friendship and group identity jod's family live by supporting each member in their family they show their love to their family members though they are with abandoning hope we also come across that ma jod takes care of the family and she cares the family most and does the best to the family's improvement hope this video helps if you have query please write it down on the comment thank you for listening to us